how I got my start in the industry. Well, um, you know when you need a job, you could do anything yeah. your mind puts you. <laughs> you know, you could do it. So what happened was one day, um, I was talking to my friend who was Eric Cole, who used to be at BMI, and then he called me one day and he was like, I'm at a publishing company. So he said to me, yeah, I'm at a publishing company. So back then I always thought like publishing only had to deal with books and not music. So he was like, I don't have time for this, Andrea, stop playing. But I needed the job. So three weeks later he called me, he was like, all right, I can't find anybody to sign as a, you know, as a songwriter, so I'll give you a chance. So he gave me like four tracks and he said, if you do one, you're hired. So I did all four. <laughs> and I wrote all four in about three hours. Wow. wow. And they were there and they were like shocked, like wow. Because the thing that I do is I freestyle. If a beat comes on, I'm like, this is what I'm gonna do. And then, you know, we had CD covers. We still do, but I mean, you know, then. We, I opened up the back and you know, used to have the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So I just looked and see how the lyrics was, the bridge was, the hook was, and I did it like that. You know, bit a little bit of melodies at the time, you know. You know, everything comes from somewhere. So that's, that's how I got started. So mm -hmm. I ended up signing to Rondo Publishing at the time. And um, from there on, you know, it was magical. And I don't care what it says, it's like, for example, like it kills me. It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I'll start saying it was, time when you don't come on. And it kills me to know how much I really love you, so much I wanna. Oh, I don't, Jane Brown did it. Ooh, 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 <laughs> to you, ooh, ooh, ooh. So, you know, sometimes when you, you don't have any lyrics to say, say, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sometimes you don't have to <laughs> yeah. And that's the hit, yo. <laughs> I was thinking about you and me, and we gonna go to, mm. you know? So just make it up. You don't have to think about it. I mean, think about records nowadays, and the only part they remember is, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Jane Brown did it, why can't we? So that's, that's how I start, and then sometimes I'll just go through a record and just keep, mm, mm, mm. but I have to, I, I'm, I'm a different person, like I have to be in the booth and I have to hear the record playing at the same time, because if I sit down for like 20 minutes, and I might take something like my friend might say, oh, I was hurt, you know, I, he ain't, he, he, you know, he did me wrong, like he did me wrong. <laughs> That's right, but you gon' get him back. I'll make up the whole story as, as we go along. Writing a song I heard right the now. name was Johnny, F you, Johnny, you. but you gon' get him back. You know, so I, that's what I would do. It's either a situation for me or something that went on with me. Like at one time I wasn't, I, I didn't, like sometimes we have our points where we, we start and then we stop for a little while as songwriters and we go, what the hell's going on? I was doing so good. I had five songs on the charts. Now I'm just not doing anything. It'll all get better in time. So these records come. <laughs> woo, woo. These records come. You'd be surprised what you could do when your money is low. So, amen. And you're going to keep having to knock at those doors. But, you know, it's a challenging moment to just go in and just sing from the heart. I don't care what it is, if it's rock, country, whatever. Those are the best records that come from the heart. You know, and it's okay to go in the booth and just freestyle. Say whatever. You know, whatever. Just <laughs> make it work. I love okay. you. You know, whatever. Okay. I sing it. Also, am I right? Can you raise your hands? So you have to preach right now. And, and right at the yes. same time. So my biggest mistake was not knowing that all the time as a demo singer that I was actually writing the records. Or as a producer that I was actually producing the record and just getting a little check and hearing it on the radio making a big check. Mm -hmm. Hands in the air for those who've done that before. Mm -hmm. A little bit of production and heard it somewhere else. Yeah. Put my elbow up and on that And you learn from your mistakes. So um, you don't know what you do until you do it. So you gotta be careful and you gotta know what you're worth. You gotta know what percentage you're worth mm -hmm. when you go in to write the people. Because if you don't, you'll end up hearing your stuff. You won't have a copy of it. You won't be able to go to court because you don't have a copy of it. And the other people that are on the other side will turn their back and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. right. You know, for example, like I used to demo a lot of records and there was a club beat that came on and two guys were like, oh, um, here's some lyrics. You know, at the time I was getting paid 150 as a demo. Mm -hmm. And um, 
you know, he said to me, oh, if you put this demo down and I don't have a melody, but if you make these lyrics work, I'll give you $300. So I was like, 300? Okay, focus. Right. <laughs> right. So right. the Woo! beat came Ellie. on right. and I'm sitting there, you know, you don't know what you're writing. He's like, and I'm like, okay, it's too much lyrics here. Heartbreak promises. Woo I have more than my share. Woo oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I get? So then it was like, give me one big note in the front. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wake up one day. Right. The $300, this was the check. Right. Wow. And my sister called me and she go, you on the radio. Mm. So I'm like, no, I can't be on the radio. I was telling her, And you know, you know your tags. Right. My tag was, oh yeah, mm. <laughs> oh yeah. So I thought I was cool. It was like Michael Jackson was like, oh yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna do that in every demo. Mm -hmm. So then you wake up, it's a hit. You don't realize that you wrote a little bit of it. You don't have anybody that came in that was a witness. And that's when you go wrong. And I'm not gonna name a, a couple other records, but you know, you learn and you learn from your mistakes. Absolutely. But, um, you have to know what you're worth when you're writing with somebody or they have to explain to you what percentage you're gonna walk out with, whether it's none or some. Mm -hmm. right. So that's right. your biggest challenge. Is like, cause when you come in and you don't know and you're, you're the new songwriter and you work with professional songwriters, they're gonna be like, all right, even though you wrote all the lyrics, they're gonna tell you, oh, okay, you can get 10% and uh, we're gonna keep 40. Right. And you just so happy to be there. You're like, okay, take, look, give me five. <laughs> give me five. <laughs> Give well, my five. name next to yours in the credits. My name yeah. right there. Right. Oh so, you know, you really have to know what you're worth. Because if you don't, you're going to walk in this business, you're going to write 20 records, yeah. and you're going to walk out with just your shoes and right. <laughs> one shoe. Smile. One shoe one and smile. shoe. <laughs> and you, you just so cool. You're like, my name is up there. Right. Well, I'm on the charts. Um, right. Backgrounds. There I go. <laughs> right. So you have to you have to really be careful. They were like, yeah, we gave you credit. You never know what kind of credit it is. You ain't reading it. You just like, oh, I did that. You run around telling people that you did it, but your name is nowhere to be found. So that's my biggest regret to really talk to producers and writers or whoever you are in the business to find out what you're gonna get after this process is built. 